family was extended. My cousins were my brothers and sisters. My uncles, particularly paternal uncles, were Baba or father. And their names were hyphenated according to their order of birth. For example, Baba Munini was the title of my father's younger brother. Baba Mukuru was the title for the older ones. My birth father was Baba without hyphenation. And this is true throughout Africa. The maternal uncle has a special place of importance as he slept in the same womb as the mother of the children of the heart. In Kikuyu, he's known as Mama. The paternal and maternal aunts are called Tata with a hyphenation next to their name. The point here is to explain Wanjiro's perception of extended family, a life that she lived, and to compare it with the Western nuclear family of which she assumed an identity as Josephine. Losing my mother's name as part of my identity was very hard. It was, however, in accordance with the Christian faith of which I had become a follower. In this culture, I learned that my extended sisters and brothers were my cousins and that my father's brothers were my uncles and not hyphenated fathers. Later on, I found that the only people that were allowed in my records were my father, my mother, and my siblings. Communication was in English, and my report cards were sent through my church, and those letters would be read after church on Sunday, which was a big amazement to a lot of people who had never received a letter. And I had to read and interpret my report card to my mother who did not understand English. And of course, if I had a B, I would say I had an A.